to the Over Comfort Podcast, you guys. I'm your host, Jenica. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching, listening from wherever you guys, whatever platform you guys are on. Today's an interesting episode. I, re- I want to be honest. I don't know how I'm going to get through this without laughing because whenever I'm with our guest, Wilito. Yo! <laughs> It's just pure laughs and giggles, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm really nervous. I'm nervous. I'm excited. This is my first podcast. Willito, so. you got to talk in the mind, Oh, she, she's my better than that. <laughs> my first, this is my first podcast. I'm kind of nervous, but we're, we're going to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, before we get started, obviously some people don't know who you are. I don't know who wouldn't know, but you guys, this is Wilito. He has 2 million followers on TikTok. 2.1, actually. Oh, excuse me. (laughs) 2.1. He has his 100K YouTube plaque before I forget that. How many subscribers? 206,000? Yeah, yeah. 210, actually. (laughs) We're going to double check. He's just social media sensation, the new generation of TikTok. He became a close friend of mine. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. We're going to, I want to kind of know, okay. I never, I've never gotten the chance to ask you, but what made you start TikTok? Um, what made you start TikTok? What was like the first video? Like, cause you, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm excited. No, no. Okay. But you were from a small town. You said you were born in Colorado, uh-huh. raised in Texas. Yeah. And then you lived in Mexico for a year. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. And then I moved back to Texas. And then you moved back to Texas. McAllen. Yeah. McAllen, Texas. So was it just a random day or like what made you start doing TikTok? And oh, what was the first a, this TikTok? This is exciting. So, okay, basically, um, uh, it was my first, no, my sophomore year in high school. And I remember I had a Spanish class and there was like these two girls that would sit behind me. And I remember one day um, uh, they were recording. I'm like, what are y'all doing? And like I didn't know what TikTok was, and I saw one of their TikToks, and they were just like, basically, they're they're girls, so they were just shaking ass, and they had like a hundred k views on their video, and I'm like, damn, and that's why I downloaded it, and I'm like, hey, like you help me film a video, uh-huh. and they're like, yeah, I'm down, and then I filmed it, and then which video was it? I deleted it, and then the next day I got clowned in high school for my video, so I deleted <laughs> the video, and I deleted TikTok for like a month, uh-huh. and then I'm like, you know what? Who cares, bro? So I downloaded it again, and I started filming uh, with this girl. She, her name was Cowgirl. Cowgirl? Yeah. Uh huh. She was like my friend. So she had a, she, we had a class together, and she would sit in front of me, and I would always like film, like I would film her like this, and then yeah, and then um, I filmed with her every single day in high school. Like literally, I would only go to school just to film with her, and then. I filmed. <laughs> you didn't go to school to actually learn. You nah, just I didn't. <laughs> Shout out to that teacher, though. Like, he would always see me, like, it was, like, second period. I always film with her. And, yeah. Um, and then we went into COVID. COVID, yeah. COVID week. And mm-hmm. then, um, yeah. Uh, when, when I left for COVID, I had, like, 50K followers. And, yeah, <laughs> I never saw her again. Okay, so from 2020, you just kept posting content. Random content, like skits and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like just the most randomest thing. Like it was bad. So like, did your parents or your mom or whoever ever ask you like, what is this? Like, Hell did yeah. they ever know? Like, when did they discover that you were like popping on TikTok? Um, did you tell them or it just it came to their attention? Like, I would tell my, my I would tell them like I would, I would, I want like I was filming videos, but they wouldn't understand. Especially my dad, bro. My dad was like, ¿Qué es eso? Mm-hmm. But then when I started like, um. I remember when we went to go eat one time and they asked for pictures and my dad kept staring at me like, like what are you doing? No. And then, yeah, and then my dad's friend's sons started saying like, oh, we watched the videos and stuff. So my dad started like, oh, so you do social media. And then, yeah, that's how they found out. But yeah, my mom too. She was super like... Yeah. Supportive? Were they supportive about it? Because then after you popped off this year in like 2023, yeah. you moved to LA. Yeah. Like, no, like out of nowhere. You did your whole Waka tour, right? Yeah. Like honestly, the first two years of social media, like on TikTok and stuff, I didn't make no money. That's what my parents were like, like, what are you going to do with your life? And I was like, chill. Like, you know, like it's going to, money's going to come eventually. Like it would just come naturally. So I did that for two years and I was making, I wasn't making a lot of money basically nothing uh-huh and then i remember i dropped for the ogs i dropped when i was willica i dropped merch for my first ever drop of merch and i made five thousand dollars and with those 5k i showed my parents and they're like damn 
like I made that and like in, it was like 20 minutes my first ever merch and 5k for me I was 16 right it was like a lot of money and then that's when I showed my parents and they were like okay like just keep going and yeah and then you did your whole Waka tour yeah your this Waka year. tour of like yeah, this collaborations year. of like all this it was who Dobre it was Dobre Oscar Shadi Oscar, JOP it was a bunch of people but super blessed did you just come out like that did everything did it come up to be like a like you planned that tour or was it like a es que la neta, an, andaba valiendo verga <laughs> la neta i was in my house in texas bro and i'm like damn bro like i'm i'm 18 i'm still in my parents house i would see these people like on social media like they're, they mm -hmm. already moved out and stuff i'm like damn bro like what am i doing bro i i didn't have that much money either bro and I'm like, mom, I'm like, I'm going to leave the house for like a month or two. I need to go do something with my life. And like Waka Tour, like that was not planned. Like Waka Tour, that was, my trip was literally just to go film one YouTube video and come back home. And that's it. And after that, I didn't go home for two months. And I ended up you coming back. Like I made. I remember too. The so first day, memories. the first day that I met Wilito, we met at the Peso Pluma concert. And coincidentally, we just sat next to each other like. Our oh, tickets yeah. happened to be right next to each other. Oscar was there too. Um, and then I had Lando. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, you need to get with Wilito, like take some videos with him. <laughs> Val, my friend, was the one telling me, like, oh, you need to do some TikToks with Wilito or whatever. I'm like, no, I'm not like that. Like, I don't want to. Dude, we were sitting there waiting for hours for Peso. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so, like, what are you doing out here in L.A.? He's like, I'm not going to go back home until I hit, what was it, 100K or 200K? 100K. It was 100K. Yeah. And then you got there like this, and you still didn't go home. <laughs> bro, bro, like, when I sat next to... Bro, Jenica, I'm like, no mom is, you know? Like, bro, we all, my, my mom and, like, me and my family, we all used to watch watch the show. And it was just crazy to her being next to me. And, yeah, we filmed a TikTok. And then um, after the show, that was, that was the night I met Peso Pluma mm -hmm. that night. Mm -hmm. And it was just super crazy. That was, a, that was an amazing night. And after that, we ended up linking again. We did. And, yeah, and now we're my friends. Friend. She's a little annoying, but, you know. No, no. we He's... Then we connected with Shadi too, but that's like another yeah. another story. So the couple months that I've known you, I do want to say, right, you are very about your content and getting content and this, this, and that. You're kind of hard on yourself. I've told you all the time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how do you how are you now? Do you feel like do you know that you're hard on yourself? Or do you know that like I could do you're very I don't know. Do you just know that you're hard on yourself? Yeah, I'm too hard on myself. Because at the end of the day, I got to, like, just, I realize, like, damn, like, everybody's, like, not depending on me, bro, but, like, I make, like, my family, like, they all know, like, oh, Wilito's over there mm -hmm. grinding. So it's, like, imagine not, like, making it or, like, not giving it my all. That's embarrassing. Have you ever had, like, a moment that, like, you're, like, I hit, like, this, I'm, like, it, I, it hit me, like, oh, my God, like, I'm getting recognized or whatever? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes, uh, uh, crazy, like, just, like, the people, like, in L.A., like, my, oh, yeah, when I hosted my show, like, the amount of people that went just to see me is just, like, damn, like, what? It's crazy. Because there's, like, a bunch of people, like, a lot of, you're not the only influencer, obviously, TikTok, yeah. people that do the same skits or do the same things as you, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. And I've told you that, too, so... What is something that you feel like you're different about? Like what sets oh, yeah, you different nah, yeah. from like everybody everybody others con everybody else's content? Like or yeah, what do you what do you feel like makes you different? I just you know, damn, that's a good question. <laughs> it's a very good question. Um, I feel like a lot of a lot of influencers like they start in like they stick to one thing. Like some kids do just like um lip singing videos, like thirst traps. Or, like, there's people that just do funny content, and there's people that do, like, makeup, mm -hmm, like, girls. Mm -hmm. But me, bro, I don't care, bro. I do funny. If I feel good, I, I make some little lip singing. I do dancing. Like, it's everything. And then just add, like, a little bit of my little personality, and that's what makes people, like, oh. Like, if I do a dancing, mm -hmm. add, like, a little funny or something, mm -hmm. and it's, like, my own little... My own, Because if I do a dance, I don't want to look, like, sexy, you know? That's not my style. <laughs> so if I do a dance, I'll make it, like, a little funny, so it'll be good, and then it would be a little funny. Trust me, it works. And I get the baddies. Oh Wait, my can, can, god, can, bro. Can I say bitches? Okay. Yeah, but I mean, we don't want to. I yeah. mean, no, females. Okay. 
I'm not doing this today. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing doing it. this today. <laughs> all right. We're going to go on a quick break. Speaking about females and all that stuff. Uh, when we come back from our break, we're going to talk about all that. All those personal, okay. your love life, all that good stuff. So we'll be right back. All right. <sighs> <laughs> all right you guys welcome back from the break we're gonna get into it now we leave though okay i'm excited look the biggest question right you're a troll we we've trolled yeah. we've trolled yeah yeah and everybody knows of the situation we've trolled about yeah yeah and yeah <laughs> yeah yeah okay we need to talk about that <laughs> because i'm i'm done I'm over okay, it. Okay, it ends today. Okay. It ends. Me and Jenica did hook up. <laughs> no, no. It was once. No. no. Oh, my God. And no, I'm joking. They, look, look. And I'm, then they clip it and then say, oh, my God, look at, she's so nervous. Look at how she looks at him. Yeah, because, no. bro, even my mom thought that we hooked up. No. Because we didn't. So basically, I'm a troller, you know? What do people like to see? Funny stuff. So I just trolled. So basically, you got to think about it like this. Oh, th- this I d- is the concept. I, okay, I filmed a YouTube video with her and her sister. And then there was one question where I'm like, okay, if I put that little clip, boom, it's going to go. So they asked me, um, did you and Jenica hook up? And I'm like, yeah. And then boom. So you upload that on social media. It goes boom, boom. It goes everywhere. So they go watch the YouTube video. So it gets views. No. So we're here. <laughs> And look at us. No. We're good. Yeah, but it's not true. I'm, I, he, you guys, I'm 25. He's 19. Come on. Yeah, I've never gotten with like a 25 year old. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not say, but no, okay. Just to clarify that, but you guys kind of can, can kind of see like his concept in his brain, like about his TikToks and like clickbaiting. And obviously he knows what's going to get your guys' attention. Yep. And I'm a friend. Just yeah, she's like a, a big sister. Like I'm when a big I when friend. I first got to LA, you know, I was staying in hotels and stuff, and she invited me over. Um, and then well, we were all there chilling. I invited my friends. It was super amazing. You know, it felt like it felt like if I was in Texas, like home, because staying in hotels was so bad. Like mm-hmm. every day, he would you would come out for so long, and we're like, bro, just we helped you get the apartment too. Yeah, like, yeah, they helped me get an apartment, bro. Because like there was a there was a time where I stayed in a hotel for like a week and a half just straight. And one, the last day, I just felt so like, I don't know, I couldn't like, I, I started getting like anxiety or something. And I just booked the flight and I went home. But I didn't tell my mom why. I was like, oh, I came to pick up something. But yeah, I was, I was, but yeah. So um, do you feel like now social media, because you mentioned the anxiety, now that you've had it, have been using social media, does it, do you feel like you developed anxiety because of it? Uh, or like it, no. it's, bullshit. it's messed with you more mentally or do you think you've always kind of... I think I think I don't get anxiety and stuff, but I think I, I'm a little too hard on me. Like if I post a video and I see it doesn't do good, like that that like that's like the worst feeling. Like it makes me feel like not depressed, but it's like damn, like oh I'm not doing good. Everything's gonna go bad. I'm not gonna be able to do social media no more. Then I upload a video and it's amazing, and mm-hmm. I'm like oh no, I'm good. But it's just that's like the over, I I overthink a lot. There it is, overthink. Yeah, that's me. You do, you do I overthink. But Too it's much. and I also think it's because of other people's comments as well because the oh, thing yeah. ha- here's a, been a thing you've gone on a lot of breaks already not a lot you've gone on two breaks yeah two breaks without any explanation right yeah. well the first one I think was because when your grandpa passed away right yeah, yeah. My and you everybody understood that and everybody kind of get it but these last two times you kind of like went away with no. Yeah. Explanation to the people. So like it's people started saying you fell off and all this stuff. Like, can we clarify like why I mean, you I, went? Because people don't get why you I I feel like I know. Well, because I'm gonna be straight up. Things. If we're here, I'm gonna be straight up. Okay, so I got caught up in the LA life, you know. Um I stopped posting. I started going out every day from like Wednesday all the way to Saturday. Mm-hmm. Would go out to two Beverly Hills, two in the morning. Eat at three in the morning, go home, go to sleep, wake up at four PM, get ready, and it's already eight PM and I still haven't gone outside. And then hey yo, let's go to another party tonight. Get ready, leave at ten PM. Same routine for a whole week. I'm like, bro, what am I doing in my life? I felt gross. I felt like an alcoholic and I'm like, no. And my mom my mom was over there home thinking I'm over here grinding and, and I'm doing mm. that shit. And that's why I went home and yeah. I went home and I and it's just like a retreat. Yeah, I'm like I'm not drinking no more and I just you know, I went to the gym and I started cleaning my head, spent time with my family like a week and a half. And yeah, now I'm back and I, I'm not going to go home for the next three, four months till like Christmas. 
Do you feel stronger now that you're back? Oh no, we good. I'm taking. Oh, it's over. You know. Like what? No do you- alcohol. Nothing. You know. No distraction. No females either. If you text me, just know I'm a hoe. So don't text me. <laughs> I don't want no. Okay. I just don't want no girls texting me. Simple. <laughs> Please okay, don't text so me. about your love life, like, do you ha- do you really have a lot of girls, or you're or you're trolling about that? There's too? a lot of beautiful women, you know, but it, I just can't, I just can't be with. Okay, I can't be with the girl. One is like, if I talk to a girl and she's pretty, and I don't know where she's like waka or something, like, bruh, like, nah, it, it's a turn off. It's a turn off. And another reason is like, they're distractions. Like, there really is. And I would love a girlfriend. I've never had a girlfriend before. You know, I'm 19. Now, I want to experience love, you know, but mm-hmm. I feel like right now it's just like I can't. I feel like if I fall in love, I'm I'm such a simp. Like you, I can talk to a girl for two days, I'm in love. Like it's crazy. So I love I get a girlfriend. I'm a, she's probably gonna be on my apartment all the time. Probably not even go to the gym and just slag, not post. Videos. But are you looking for like? If it happens, it happens. But I would love like the only way I get a girl is if she does the same things as me, you know. If she does social media. So she could like push me and I could push her. That's the only, I'm not dating. But then how do you know it's not for clout? Ah, damn. Nah, I'm not looking, nah. I'm not looking for a girl. I'm not. Not even a girl. Maybe like when I'm, when I'm, you know, when I'm good. Okay, so like when you're on lives and stuff, like flirting with these girls, are you being serious or you're joking? I mean, some of them are bad, you know. (laughs) I get a little walk out with some of them, but some of them I'm just trolling, you know. But they're all beautiful women. But I would talk to a girl. I'm just trying to have fun. Like, bro, I'm in my age where I'm trying to have fun. I think you know when you're 19. You just want to have fun with life, you know? No. That's me. I grew up way different. Though. That's cap. I did. I did. Yeah. Right now, at my age, I was, oh, damn, probably all my girls are watching. Yeah, huh? like- oh! <laughs> nah. Well, we're young. I'm young. I'm, I'm fortunate, like, have being in this opportunity. And yeah, we're in LA and I'm I'm gonna have fun for a couple months. All right. So you guys heard no girls. No girls, no hooking up either. No hooking up. Unless Everybody she's like heard bad. accountability. Everybody here in this room. Hey. YouTube, iHeart, everybody. He said no alcohol, no girls. He's going to the gym. Yeah. Uh-huh. What else? Um no distraction. And, and if y'all see me with the girl <laughs> in like in a month or something, I don't know. Just you know, mm. you can never, you know, the the most of the expected things are the best. All right. So we're going to take it back to your TikTok little era. OK, Yeah. like we talked about your tour and all that. Who was your fir- favorite person to collab with? And who's like your dream one? Like, oh, damn. you want to okay, make TikTok let's go. with? My favorite collab. I ain't From that lie. tour. That tour with JOP. JOP and his crew. They treated me so nice, and people be talking shit about them, saying this, this, and that. But they treated me f- like f- crazy, amazing, yeah. you know. Okay. Um, and the person I would love to collab with is Peso Pluma. That'd be fire. No, it, I'm gonna. It's man. I'm manifesting it. Like I am gonna do it. You know. What um, are like? Is there anything you would change about your content now, like things that you're doing now? Yeah. Or do you? Okay, so like what? Yeah. Um. Um, I'm in a spot right now where, like, you know, I feel like giving back. I want to do, like, YouTube, like, more mm-hmm. serious. You know, if I have a chance to give away money and stuff, give away, help out families. Because, bro, a lot of people just be spending money stupidly while you could just give back to change people's lives, you know? And are you saying that from experience as well because of the way you grew up? Like, Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, like oh, damn. How like, I remember, up? like, I still remember this one day I was going to high school and I stopped at a gas station, and I was in, I was literally gonna buy gum because I wanted gum, and my card declined, and mm-hmm. the guy behind me paid for my gum. Like, no, like uh, I was like, oh, let me go get my money in my car. So I go in, in my car, and I'm like, damn, but I dip. And the guy comes and he's like, here, bro. That's. And I was right. like, damn, like bro, like a dollar. It was like a dollar sixty, but it's like damn. So right now that I'm fortunate, like I, you know, I want to change like people's lives and stuff and give back. And I've I been doing that. that. I've been doing it. You have. You have. I remember even when we did Shadi's video, when she came over here, uh, you paid for the guy that was there and all that stuff. Um, is it because of, like I said, is it because of the way you grew up as well? Like that one year that you lived in Mexico, like was it different? Was it hard for you? Yeah. So, I, yeah, because we, from Colorado, we moved to Texas. Mm-hmm. And then we're just um, in Texas, like 
um I was worst staying like at my grandma's house and stuff. And I mean I could tell like it it was like we were like struggling and stuff and then we ended up like we went to Mexico and then we have a house we had, we had a house in Mexico so we're there we're we're going to be there for like two months and then my dad ended up like leaving back to work um mm. in the USA USA <laughs> over here and then yeah we ended up saying like I even went to school over there mm. I remember my mom she she took me to school she's like ven a ver la escuela nomás nomás a verla and I went and I go play soccer for a bit and when I'm done playing soccer my mom's gone bro no. she left me in school in Mexico and I was a gringo I didn't know no Spanish bro she just left oh, me oh she played you she played me bad so they walked me in the classroom and stuff and bro like I was it was a, it was bad is but, it super different yeah but it was so dope like I, I I don't regret that like that was probably the best like year cause I would go to school and then I'll be in class and then like on lunch break there will be a lady selling like tacos con frijoles chorizo and I'll over be, here they give you different stuff I'll be eating all the time and then yeah that's it I enjoyed that and then we moved back to Texas and we got a house there and yeah that's where I grew up in Texas I finished high school has it been hard because I've seen Shadi tell me like that she gets homesick and stuff but has it been hard because you don't go you you can't go back home for a while right yeah. has it been hard without them because you're close with fair fair is his little sister which you guys have probably seen on tiktok and if not she's the cutest thing but like is it really hard for you because you're young like i wouldn't have imagined like i still lived with my brother at 19 20 and like i still had them around so like i don't know what it's like to be without them yeah like i still remember like the day i started the waka tour mm -hmm. i saw her like saying bye like last week i went and she looks so grown. Like, I'm like, fuck. Like, it's scary. Like, she's growing up so fast. And she's, like, super smart. But, yeah. But I just tell them. I just tell my mom. And I just tell my dad, too. Like, it's all going to be worth it. Like, mm -hmm. in a year. Like, say I go back. I buy my parents their dream house. It's all going to work out. You know? Mm -hmm. It's going to be worth it. And, yeah. That's literally what I just told Fed. I'm like, I'm not just leaving just to leave. Like, I'm, I'm literally grinding and just trying to make it happen, you know? see you guys but yeah she's 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 growing thank you i miss her i love that so uh you obviously have a dream and a goal to do this for your family get them their dream house and all that stuff with the platform and the following you have now what's like the ultimate vision like get them their dream house like where do you see yourself in five years let's say like with the how many mil how many followers do you think you have or what's your goal that you want to have subscribers where do you want to be um honestly like i just really want to convert all my other people that support me to youtube um i because I, I i love tiktok i love it like i love the platform and everything but i feel like my heart is like to youtube like youtube you really have to drive and not a lot of people make it on youtube because it's like dedication like it's mm -hmm. hours of filming every day and then editing hours and hours and then posting and yeah it's not like tiktok where it takes like five seconds and you post a video but yeah in five years i see myself with more than a million subscribers i see my family mm -hmm. in the house i feel like i'm gonna be a still a youtuber but i don't be a crazy youtuber like my sister's gonna be like 14 like Damn. you're gonna bring youtube back 18, 19, 19 20, 21, 22. I'll be like 23. I won't be in my age. I'm still going to be grinding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't be young. I won't be on YouTube crazy. I'm probably going to be more than a million subscribers. Family is good. I don't know. I think I'm not going to... I'm, I'm going to be living in, like, in Miami and my family's going to be living in Texas. This man. Yeah, I see myself very successful in five, in five years. Very. I see it too. That's good. Maybe with the girlfriend, you know, when I'm like more like financially free, you know? You yeah. You are financially free. Yeah. You don't have a job to tie you down. What? Uh, no. No. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm financially you don't. free. You're financially free. But when you mean more financially like... Stable. Uh-huh. Like having money. Right. Dude, those are some goals. Huh? Like, that'd be crazy. If we see this like in five years, what you just said right now, that'd be insane. <laughs> It's going to happen. Bro. I promise you. It's a manifestation. You know, matter, matter of fact, look at this. I want to show you this. Okay. I filmed this video. It was 20. I literally found it. I want to show it for, to you. Show me. I filmed it on January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July of 2022. I'm making this video for my future self. Um, hopefully, Willie, you, 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 you completed your dream of hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> 
And yeah. Um, That's fire. It's crazy. So yeah, it's manifestation. Do you ever look back at like those videos? Like now that obviously you started TikTok and all this stuff, like to ever imagine like where you're at right now? Yeah. You're at this age? Like yeah, you really... I've, like I never, I would have never pictured myself like at that age thinking me neither. Like, like it, that. Like everybody in my family was telling me like no, like like you gotta understand from coming from a Hispanic family, like I stu- in high school I studied for welding, you know, because it's like that's all the generation like my dad, my family, they're all into like the oil field, like like working like hard jobs, you know. Mm-hmm. And when I came and said, oh I'm gonna do videos from the internet, everybody was like, no, like you're dumb, like you're gonna go to high school. You're gonna take that class for four years of welding. You're gonna get out, and you're gonna go. You're gonna go be a welder. And but something just didn't fit right with me. Like mm-hmm. my my mom would tell me like, "Estás bien, vete a trabajar dos tres meses y échale ganas." And I'm like, "Mom, like no, like I, I I would tell her no." And then bro, it was so bad, but I couldn't like show her like, "Look, mom, social media," you know, because I didn't have nothing yet. So mm-hmm. it was just a vision, and like just like stopping it there, you know. For like my dad and then like like my all my cousins from my with my dad's side like all of them all my cousins they all like into the oil fields and doing all that stuff you know and i'm like the only motherfucker that's doing this it's like why me bro like out of everybody bro out of like literally all my mom's family side everybody i'm like the only like why me you know like high school too like but you just knew you wanted to be different yeah like out of the whole high school like out of so many thousands of kids, why me? I, I that's why I, tr- I think about it sometimes. Like, damn, like it's crazy. Like, just one person out of like so many. Have you ever like doubted yourself or gotten like it? Because it, it can get dark. Like, social oh, yeah, media gets time. dark and like scary. And like, you have you ever doubted yourself and be like, no, I'm done. Like, I've gotten oh, to yeah. a point where I just want to be done with social media. Yeah. Like, it's gotten me so depressed. Like, you know, yeah, it could be pretty obviously yeah. all the all the viewers, all the money, all this, this, and that. But like. Is, have you ever had, like, a dark, dark moment with it? Yeah, like, um, yeah, there was a time, like, people think, like, they see me right now, like, oh, you, you got everything handed and whatever. No, like, when I hit 100K subscribers, I was stuck on 100K uh, followers on TikTok for, like, four or five months. Like, I was done. Like, in my head, I'm like, okay, Wilito, like, you're, you've are you been stuck at 100K followers for, like, four or five months. Like, you're done. Mm-hmm. But then, then I'm like, no, like, no. I started, like, seeing what I could do different. And then um, I ended up getting that account to a million, which was Willika. And then I'm like, that's a, that was an error, you know? I'm, I want to do something else. So that's why I opened a new account, Willito. And, yeah, and I got it to two million in a couple months. Since those accounts, obviously, like, I know you have haters. Oh, yeah. I mean, it comes with haters. And then when I was, um when I was, like, at 100K followers, I never got hate, you know? But right now... Like, so many people, like, talk shit about me. You know what? Let me fucking talk about this, too. There is these two guys, bro. Uh-huh. There is these two guys. You know, I they do interviews and stuff. Like, like literally like this. Uh-huh. I went through a TikTok, you know. They're not a big podcast, but, hey, they're grinding. Um, I saw they I was watching other clips. You know, they average 200 views, 500. And then the only video that gets half a million views... Yeah, Wilito, yeah, um, Wilito is just, uh, leading on Shadi. I think, yeah, if he would, if Shadi was my little sister, I would slap him in the back of the head. <laughs> like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, what, people don't know. I really want to talk about this. Go ahead. Like, people think I use Shadi, but Shadi, when she came to LA for the first time, she was getting fucked over. She was. She was getting fucked over by these managements, making her sign NDAs and all this bullshit. So she couldn't say nothing about it. But here comes Wilito, the mm-hmm. guy. And I presented my manager and Jenica to to Shadi. I told Shadi come over to Jenica's. She ended up coming over, and yeah, and look where Shadi's at. No, but you really like. I would like to say that you saved Shadi, like from a lot of things. Like we always tell Wilito, like, dude, if you wouldn't have or Shadi, we told Shadi, like, if you wouldn't have met Wilito, like, even if you guys joke around and fight so much over some stupid shit, like, you guys literally saved each other. I know. And, like, really best friends. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, all these people can talk so much crap and do all this stuff and say stuff about you that you're using her and she's using you and this, this, and that. But, like, in reality, it's, like, you guys are really, really good friends that genuinely love and care for each other. Yeah, like, bro, I met Shadi two months ago. I flew out all the way to Minnesota to make a video. And then two months later, 
Yes, like the other day we're walking to my like inside my apartment. We're walking like in the sidewalk. I'm like, bro, we live in LA, bro. Like what? It was so crazy, you know. But yeah, um, I love that girl. Um, yeah, and to those guys, bro. I mean, shit. So how do you? Yeah, speaking of, like, cause that's negativity. How do you handle that negativity then? If you see yeah. these guys like saying this nah, or like shoddy or whatever. Bro, when, I, when I was in Texas, like the last two weeks, I was off social media. Uh huh. So yeah. I would open my phone. Waka, where are you at? Nah, he's gone. Yes, like, yes, like, oh, I'll wait. I saw them in uh, this guy. Um, he used to be like an old friend. His name is Galvancio, too. I was just minding, I don't, I haven't talked to my boy, you know. Hope everybody the best in life. And I see this video. He's like, yeah, yeah, my mom, yeah, my mom, said, wait, yeah, yeah, my mom, yeah, my mom. Like, bro, but you know, it's like that. Like, like a lot of people, and um, I just, I just don't say nothing. I just shut up and I just post my content and let it like talk for itself, you know. You know, people, if people fuck with me, then that's, they fuck with me. You keep pushing. You keep moving on. Yeah. But TikTok is a very toxic place. It is. It is very toxic. It is. That's why, like, when you mentioned about doing YouTube and, like, you want to grow on YouTube, that's better because there's not much. No. I don't want to say yeah. competition or, like, hey, or whatever. It's hard. It's harder. Yeah. But YouTube, like, you go to the comment section, you probably see one hate comment. Yeah. YouTube is, Everything like, real, is genuine likes. people. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why I love YouTube. And that's why I really want to just, which I am going to transform my my content to youtube but yeah um man fuck the haters <laughs> fuck you and if you over here fucking saying like oh you, you you're annoying bro or like saying oh you shouldn't do that bro i'm trolling bro like get the image and i'm joking and i'm a funny guy and i'm trolling and that's it and if you don't you're just amargada or you just hate your life that's and it at the end of the day you're living your life while you're Whatever back you like want. this Wilito's Wilito's such a bitch he's so annoying bro i'm fucking living life i'm chilling <laughs> And that's it. As long as my family is good and I'm mm -hmm. good, that's all that really matters in life is your family. And you have a good heart. Yeah. You have to have a good heart and good intentions. Yeah, but I love the haters. Like, it motivates me too. I love it. <laughs> like, it, it it really does. Like, you fell off mm -hmm. or like, um, or like, ah, bro, you're getting fat or stuff. Like, like it presses anything. you. It's like, oh, yeah. Ooh, like, it's like, all right. ooh. It's like, ooh, it, it feels good. Like, you need haters. You yeah. really do. You do. There's but, a quote, but yeah. I love I love y'all. Like y'all really look, I tell everybody this, like if you're a hater, watch me for like two weeks. Just watch me and you're gonna you're gonna start liking me. It just it happens. It might take a little bit longer, but you know. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. All right, you guys, we're gonna go on a quick break and when we come back, we're gonna talk about what the future holds for Wilito. Let's talk about bitches. I'm joking. <laughs> we'll be back. I heart radio, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back from break. Woo, we just talked about the haters, the love life, his breaks, like now here's a juicy what he's stuff. really doing. I want to know, Wilito, because we're working with you ain't that easy, right? Uh-huh. Let's be honest. Okay. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. You've obviously have collabed with like Jose, Shadi. Do you really... How's your personal experience? What are you really feeling about Shadi and Jose? Like, do you love them? I know you love them, but I want to know, like, sometimes do you feel like... Nah. You know what? Like, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes <laughs> they're, they're a pain in the ass. To be honest. Uh -huh. Just like how I am. Uh -huh, you know, you sometimes, are? sometimes Shadi, I get on her nerves. Like, she gets on my nerves. But at the end of the day, bro, we're, fuck, we're young ass kids just trying going for a goal you know and that's it no but i really care about them you know if they, if they ever need anything or something you know i'm there and yeah do you ever feel like <sighs> what was i gonna say hey and, and jose for those people saying you see like people don't get my yeah all i want to say is i i am not homophobic i love every person oh yeah that's something you needed to clear out yeah i am not homophobic like my bitch is like my, like my girlfriend be kissing girls. Like how can I be homophobic? Like they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but I just want to clarify that, bro. No. Like if I see my girl, if I see my girl kiss another girl, make out. That's hot. Like how can I be homophobic? <laughs> if I did, if I didn't think that was hot, then you could call me homophobic. But I am not. And like Jose, like I, like Jose, you know, I, I, I like that guy. He's cool. Wait a second. Wait, a wait, wait. Second. Nah, he's, he's a genuine friend, you know. And that day, um, it was just trolling, and and yeah, she he was like coming to sleep in my bed, and I was like, "What you say?" But it's jokes. I really would go. I'm joking. Well, I do want to clear something up on my end, okay, you guys. Yeah. 
because a lot of people are saying that Jenica, you need to be careful. Shadi, Wilito, everybody's <clears throat> using you. Wilito just needed to get into the Rivera family. Look, he did the YouTube video. They took him to Disney. All this stuff. Look, I'm very specific about who I allow in my circle and who I can trust. And everybody knows this. All my friends know this. The moment someone is invited to my house and I feel comfortable with them being in my house, you can officially be in my circle. And like, I've never felt like I've used, I mean, our Wilito has personally used me because we had a little, you know, hiccup in the last YouTube video because of some things that were said about like my mom and all that. And I think we, we just have a comfortable relationship and conversation with each other. Like I see him like a little brother and I don't ever feel like he's like, I, like I said before, I want to help and take care of them and guide them correctly and making sure they're on the right path because there's people that are hitting up Wilito that want to like really mess them up. Like, and I'll be honest because I know those people personally, you know, and as long as he lets me and as long as he lets Val and Shadi in the same drop thing, the like, name, drop the names, no, pussy. I'm not going to drop the names because we don't, <laughs> we don't, we don't, no, we don't, hey, because I'm going to be your problem, I drop the no, names. No, because we're not going to get into problems. We're not going to allow people to like say these yeah, things. Yeah, don't try to fuck me over. Or give extra clout, like, no. <clears throat> be and because you're a little silly, you're silly, like, you don't really, you get really hyped up about things. I will clear it out. Like I do things from the genuine bottom of my heart. <laughs> He's so annoying. And like, I've never personally felt like you've used me. Are you using me? Fuck yeah. You're nah, so annoying. Nah, I'm not, bro. You know, it just make it is like in LA, all the girls and stuff like, or like friends, they just, they're party friends, you know, during the week, you don't really talk to no, why well, don't talk to no friends. The only time they hit me up is Friday, Saturday. Hey, you want to come to the club? Da, 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 da. But Jenica, I would go to her house like Monday, Tuesday, and just vibes, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, it's like literally the spot, you know. And I live super close to her, so everybody just pulls up and we all meet there and we just chill. Like when, I, yeah, super. I fuck with it. Yeah, we're not. But yeah, I am not using Jenica. We're not, and he's not using me, and I'm not using him. And we're just friends. Yeah, we're just friends. Totally. We're just friends. And the same thing with Shadi <laughs> and Jose. He's so annoying. He, el quieres. Oh my nah, God. Nah, nah, like, no, no, okay, you know, I'm gonna be serious now. From this point on, Ulito is going to be serious, okay? <clears throat> Me and Jenica did not do anything. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's We're actually it. friends. Have you... I haven't even asked you. Were you recently in love with somebody? In love? In love. Recently? Yeah. Maybe on my behalf without her. <laughs> oh, no. So not you're definitely a simp. Yeah, I can't Drop the name. Teo. Nah, wait. Well, okay, in love, no. I, I've had a first love, but I thought I did, like, um, catch a little bit of feelings. Really? The girl. Yeah. But you knew that you weren't ready for it, or you just... I just knew it didn't want to work out. That's why I just did it much. Like, I was like, I was like, you know, it's just whatever. I just kept grinding. When you have a girlfriend, are you going to keep it private, or do you think you're going to actually, like, post it? It depends. Because there's been people posting their girls lately a little OD. And, like, I wonder... Like, for me, personally, I wouldn't post, like, until I'm nah, with you for, not, like... That's not a healthy relationship. If you post your girl, you know how many guys... Think about it. I think about it like this, okay? You know, I have, I have like, a lot of, you know, people talking shit about me, like, other influencers and stuff like that. Say I post a girl, and I'm posting her and shit. They, mm -hmm. they hate me. They dislike me. You don't think they're going to slide in, in, in her DMs? Mm. Okay, so boom. Say me and her don't work out. We break up and I already posted all over social media and shit. You don't think this kid is going to be like, hey, that, let's let's do something. Mm -hmm. And and then it's going to drop on me like, oh, they took your girl. Nah. Hell nah. I was like, prior relationship, nobody's going to know. More healthy. That's it. And if you're like, why don't you post me? Get the fuck out. That's it. Mm. I agree. That's, that's how that's toxic. Huh? That's toxic. I'm toxic? No, that's toxic. The girl would be toxic. Oh, yeah, yeah. For you to ask that. Yeah. Or like, like sometimes I, I test girls and I to see, like, if, if they're using me. And almost all the girls, yeah, they are. <laughs> so I'm how do you know? Ass. Like, like bro, like, like, if I go out to a club, like, when I went to Texas, like, the girls just use you, you know? Mm -hmm. Even f guys, too. Homies, you know? 
It's it's fucked up. So how do you know? Like even with friends, like how do you? It's know just the obvious. Difference? So look, I go to the club, right? Mm-hmm. I go to the club. I, we get a section. I invite my. I invite my. Well, a lot of damn. Well, a lot of people go to the table, right? Right. Some people are, that are mutuals and this, this, and that. And yeah, I I get. The, well, I don't go out to a club more, but I get the drinks and shit. And they all they all drink and everybody's drinking, right? So at the end, when it's time to pay the bill, I don't be I don't be like yo like who's who's gonna put or something. I just pay it, and and then boom, if I see one of my friends, oh here, bro. But I I always see like the the guys that just leave. Okay, man. Mm-hmm. And then the next day is like they don't they don't they don't go fuck about me. Mm-hmm. They just there to have fun. That's mm-hmm. it. They're like fucking. They to pay. post their stories, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, bro. Yeah, they be grabbing my bottles and posting it. Like mm-hmm. what the fuck. But yeah, that's how I really see. I don't say nothing. I don't confront them. That, but like the next time, like he's at the circle, he's gone. Right. So now that you you came back from this break, do you feel like you know, like okay, these are the certain types of friends that I want to have. This, yeah. I, I don't want to have friends that drink, do this, do that, or like, do you not care? I mean, I'm just not gonna. No le voy a seguir rollo si van a andar tomando yo andar en mi en my little circle. And I get a lot of shit like, come on, bro, go, come on, go, go out. Don't be a pussy. I don't care. I'm a pussy then. How do you know that you're not going to go back to that lifestyle? I just, I'm not. I'm not. I might go out, but I'm not picking up a bottle. That's just, Sorry. that would just be, I would just f- ruin everything. I feel amazing right you now. You feel good. I feel good. I have Mentally, so much you're strong. Like, Ooh, you feel bro, better. I'm so ready. Like, I got a lot of videos and a lot of people. What kind of collabs, can <clears throat> you say? Like, future collabs that you have in mind? I mean, everybody already knows. I, I'm going to have one with Faze Rug. Ooh. But I'm a, I'm a, probably when this, uh, yeah. Phase rug, that's oh, yeah. the biggest one. Is there any brand ones that you want to do, like companies and stuff? What? Like companies collabs that you want to do, like your goals, like that you would want to work with. Um, anything, anything, anything big, I'm down. You know, right now, well, my manager been slacking, but we're good. That, why is he calling you out, bro? Nah, no. everything's been amazing. My manager is an amazing person. She's been getting me a lot of brand deals and stuff. Yeah, right now I I got I got some. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's true. I have it. I can I say this? Yes. I lo- I lost a brand deal like that break I took. I lost a brand deal. It was like a thirty thousand dollar brand deal. Because why? Because I wasn't. You weren't ready. It. Yeah, I was just fucked up in my head. Well, sometimes it's better for you to take care of yourself mentally before you can show yourself off to the world. Yeah. For real. Because yeah. if not, if you're not taking care of yourself here, your heart, spiritually, like n- nothing, nada, va a ir bien. Yeah, that's true. So what's next for you? Any new projects, new brands, new ideas, merch? Because you just, you launched your merch and that was super successful. Is there going to be another collection? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That the, My merch job was so successful, you know? Um, yeah, it was probably the most craziest thing in my life, you know? Like, just think about this, a kid from high school, like, selling chips from, like, selling chips in high school, getting made fun of, making, like, $30, $40 a day, and then to dropping merch, and, like, in a day, making over six figures, it's just fucking crazy, you know? Yeah. I'm blessed, you know? And that's not that's not to, like, um, flex or nothing, it's just really, like... It's surprising. Any, anybody could do it, you know? Not just, like, not just me, like, anybody could do it, you just gotta put in the work and just go. But yeah. Um. So you're always having fun. You're a jokester. This, but again, that this is your job, right? So there's a lot of TikTok creators and people that want to do the same thing. What is the one piece of advice that you want to that you would tell somebody that wants to do this as well? Um. Damn, that's a very good question. Um. Just, just um, act like yourself. You know, like don't play as a character. And, Cause eventually you're gonna you're gonna start acting like yourself, and then people's not gonna be like like they're gonna be like what like you're not you're not him, and then yeah, it's not gonna work out. And another one is just like, um, there's gonna be the closest people around you are the people that be talking the most shit, you know, family members, mm. and you know, it's not even the friends, it's like family members, and yeah, you just gotta say fuck them, cause they're eventually gonna turn around and say like oh congrats and congrats, like trust me when you're when you don't got nothing, nobody gives a fuck about you, now you're. Friends, family, nobody gives up. But once you start doing good and start seeing, oh, they start coming around more. Congrats, this, this and that. Like when I drop, like, like merch, 
like m- y'all support me more than like more like most than my family members you know mm-hmm. and it's like that like the the people that are closer to you are the ones that like hate on your success the most yeah just keep your eyes open and keep your circle small do you feel like you could you take your own advice though like you know how some people say it and don't really nah, practice I, it I, or do like nah, I, i'm still learning you know everything's new especially like the last two months you know mm-hmm. and yeah like i I'm, i might joke around and stuff like when i see hate comments i'm like well i don't care but yeah sometimes it does get to me it does okay. sometimes i'm like i i like end the live and then that's when i'm just there alone especially here like I'm just alone in my apartment i'm like damn like do they really think about that and it's like it's crazy like because people think that you're like a j- big jokester all the time. Yeah, like, people think just because I joke and stuff, I don't got a feeling. Like, bro, I try to laugh it off, but sometimes, like, damn, like it doesn't, it doesn't, it, like affects me and shit. But you know, I try not to let it, but it does. I'm not gonna lie, it does. You gotta have a strong head. Yeah, a strong head. For it. Wait, what? No, you gotta have a strong mind, a strong mindset. mind for it, a strong mindset. Yeah. For all of this. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the comments do get to me. They do. Fuck me up. So obviously, you know what the podcast is about. And I always like to ask like a good question at the end. Now that we're in the vibe and, you know, we we get deep and into like the realness because I that was my main thing of inviting you on here. Like like you said, people know you for being a jokester and for being silly. Like they don't really know like we little being serious. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect. Like, everyone's going to get to know him and understand him and, like, why he took all these breaks, you know, everything that happened with your grandpa. Like, I don't even think that they know. Can I say it? Oh, shit, yeah. Like, the yeah. second the second day that me and Wilito ever met, we hung out, we went to go eat at Buffalo Spot. Right before we got there to film our content and all that stuff, his he got the call that his grandpa had got in the car accident. It was the worst call of my life. It was like just, it was like so and it was not that it was uncomfortable, but like I had just met him. So I didn't know how to console him or like help him out. Like we're like, okay, it's okay. Like let's just we can leave now. We'll take you to the airport, go do your thing, this, this, and that. Yeah. And you still wanted to like eat and hang out and do all that stuff but then yeah because at the moment never because i had never had anybody like pass away you know close to me yeah. and first they called me and they had told me uh my grandma had passed away and then we finished we wrapped up and then i got dropped off and then i went with my friend oscar and we went to go get these uh um, these hot dogs at this hot dog stand and then we're eating and then i'm like i went to the car to charge my phone and i i'm in the car and then i get another car like crying like Oh, grandpa just passed away. So it was like, oh my yeah. God. And that's when it hit me. Like, it didn't even, no, it didn't really hit me there. And then we ended up going back to Oscars. And then I get in the car and we're all leaving. And I'm in the back seat and I'm just like, fuck, I'm crying, bro. And I'm just trying to, like, not, mm-hmm. I didn't want them to see. So I get to Oscars' house and I'm like, all right, babe, bro, I'm going to I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm in the room, just alone. I just start crying. And then Oscar comes in. He just starts hugging me. And I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. that's when I just start crying like i was like fuck because i was alone mm-hmm. i had you nobody were. here then you that, had just like moved moved here too and then that, that same night oscar drove drove me all the way to lax which is what like an hour to drop me off and then and then yeah that was a, that was something super crazy and then like I, i'm so thankful that like two weeks before that i went back home and i went home for the weekend and my sister my mom was like um you should go to mexico and see your grandparents you know you never know what could happen and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go. So I, I went for, like, just one day. And then well, my grandpa, I like, went to my house, and my grandma was there. And then everybody was like, se me quito. Because they had seen, like, I was in the music video. And I was telling my grandma, like, oh, I bought my new car because I had just bought my Mercedes. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, keep going. I'm proud of you. And then, yeah, that was, like, the last time I, I really saw them. That was, like, your hidden little message, too. Like, yeah. Keep going. Keep like now you have your little angelitos too watching over. That's crazy though. Like, and I'm so happy that I went that like that one day. Cause I, if I wouldn't, I would have regretted it so mm-hmm. much, you know. And yeah, that's that was a. Cra- and then my dad, like, you know how Mexican dads are. They're not really like they don't affectionate. Really, yeah, they don't really show love and stuff. So me seeing my dad cry in front of my face, like I had never seen, and like hugging him, holy, I was it was the worst part of my life, like. 
him. I didn't know how to like talk to him, you know. And I was just hugging him and stuff, and and then yeah, we would just be crying and stuff. And like I remember, like that, like the next day we were just there in Mexico because we stayed like another day, and um, he was in the room with the TV on, and like he wasn't even watching the TV. He was just like staring. Yeah, like staring, and I was like, oh my god, like he's going through it, you know? Like, mm -hmm. imagine losing both of your parents at the same time. Yeah, that was super crazy, but you know. Do you feel like now that, like, you since you've experienced that, you see life differently? Yeah, you know, damn. Yeah, I, I, that's why I, I like. That was another reason why I went. I went home because, like, seeing my mom and my sister, because mm -hmm. everything could change so fast, and that's what. That's why I love I love my mom so much because like. Okay, so, and then all right. So when I was a kid, I I had a, I had a bracelet, mm -hmm. that, uh, like a gold one, and I have the same one here. No, I think yes. When I first moved here, I would wear, it. and that bracelet. I remember I had one as a kid. And that was when I used to live in Colorado, and my mom didn't have enough to pay for the rent, so she had to sell my my mm -hmm. flower, and yeah, she sold it. To pay for the rent, and then she never ended up like getting me one. So when I would like go to Texas, like all the kids would have one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I would tell my mom like I want one, and she was just like soon, soon. And then she, when she ended up telling me like what what the story, she started crying to me, and I was like it was bad, and that's why, and then that's why I bought one just to see like mom, look, I, I bought it myself, like you're good. It. And then yeah, that's it was so just nice. and then the, right the day before I left like. She was the day I left, came here. I was gonna go to the airport. And she, they were leaving to Mexico, and they get in the car and everything. And I'm like outside saying bye to my mom. And she gets off and she just walks up to me, and then she comes inside and she's like, she's like, I'm sorry. She was like, I I just been so busy with Fed and everything. Now I don't tell you that I love you. Mm. And we just start crying there. And then and she's like, You're so far away from me. And this, she, she, she was like, I know I don't tell you that I love you that much. I've just been super busy, but you know that I do. Yeah, so last time I saw her. like Before you came back this last time. Yeah. Oh. And she left, and I was like, it's hard, bro. People think it's easy. It's fucking, yeah. behind the scenes, is everything's hard, you know? No cualquiera va a ser esto. It's a lot, of, you gotta risk a lot. And then you, it's a risk because, like, what if it doesn't work out, you know? Right. All for nothing, but. But you can't do things in fear. Yeah, you can never win if you don't risk. There you go. Damn. What's one last thing that you want the listeners to remember about Wilito? About who you are, your story, and all that. Um, this is like, this is the beginning of something amazing, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I just can't wait to like, for the future, I know I'm gonna be. I'm young. I know when I turn twenty, twenty one, I'll be more grown, more no like no more stuff, and be different. You know, I'm young, and all I don't want to say is that Wilito's gonna be here for a long time. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully, y'all support me. Hopefully, in a year, two or three years, y'all see me by my parents' house, or and y'all can know like y'all are here with me. You know what? Fuck Wilito. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. No, but um. Just know that I I wasn't born in, in una cuna de oro. That's what a lot of people mm -hmm. think. Like, people think everything was handed to me. Like, no. Like, I've been through so much shit. Like, it's bad. Like, my mom, I always see my mom cry and, like, a bunch of shit, you know? Right. But people don't see that. They just see, like, when you're, when, when you start getting views, they see, like, the wilito with the waka chain, diamond. But nobody sees, like, the, the behind the scenes. Like, bro, my backpack I, I had in high, in high school, it was literally... A manchada de chamoy Because mm. I was still Gumming beers with chamoy And I remember They popped one time And my shit was out Like gross <laughs> well, People don't know that But They don't um, Hopefully this podcast And I've been wanting to do one So I can really tell everything You know mm -hmm. And yeah Wow Well There's Wilito you guys He really Grew Honestly from nothing Right yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You came from nothing and you look at where you're at now. There's always like, if you feel like you're stuck in, in a spot and you feel like you can't get, if this is where your dream is at, where Wilito's, what Wilito's dream is, like you guys don't give up. 
<clears throat> he's only 19 and this is the only only the beginning and i want to retire my parents Ooh. that's it that's, that's i feel like that's every guy's every kid's goal you know to retire their parents because i see my mom and my dad especially my dad right now you know because i know he doesn't talk about it bro but i know he he'd be going through shit in his head that's you know a good goal. but yeah That'd be a beautiful goal. I wish I had that goal too, but because you went, because uh, that is a good goal to have, though. Like you wanting to retire your parents. Like I wish I had the opportunity as well, like to be able to retire my parents. Like my mom was already ready to retire before she passed away, and a lot of people don't know that. Like after that, that was like one of the last couple shows that she was gonna do for the year and retire. And she was only what like forty one something around there i can't even remember anymore but like that's why like i really appreciate you saying that because you know you you can value your family you i feel like i've seen you value your family you go back home you you spend time with fair you give your mom this you guys you know what i mean like and uh, people in this position a lot just kind of say f it f my family i'm gonna forget about these people so like i i notice and i honor like the fact that you're very humble and like you do your part you give back to people because you also grew up with not a lot of things and like you came from a hard place and like you could have everything in the world and be an ass about it or you could be a good person and yeah. still have everything and like I, that's what i feel like makes you different from a lot of people on social media and tiktok specifically because when there's specific creators and i feel like a lot of people know who like that have everything and then they're just mean to people and so thank you i really like i i as a girl that doesn't have her parents like for you to be able to say like to retire them is really really beautiful and you spending the time and the money to be with them is really, really nice. I love that about you. <laughs> he gets all uncomfortable, though. Yeah. He gets uncomfortable. It's not an easy topic, but... It's not. It's just it's, something... It's just really nice. I really... It is scary, but I, I just had to say it because... It How just, was that, though, like, dealing with that? Oh, it was hard. It's very hard. It's very scary. And it's also 20 times harder because everybody knows who my mom is. So it gets, it's like, you never catch a break. You never get like a moment to really heal, but I'm okay. I obviously like now, like now that I'm older and like, I know how to set boundaries and know like, okay, I know what I'm going to share on social media and I know what I'm going to have heal myself personally and focus on myself and my family and my kids, my kids, Whoa. What? <laughs> my nephews and nieces, all that. Like I know what matters most than caring about what people say. Cause at the end of the day, it, who's going to be here? Your family. Yeah, nobody you know I mean? else. Not your friends. I mean, yeah, maybe, but the, the people that are always going to be there is... Family. Little, yeah. Little and family. little Fed. Little... Dude, she's wild. Yeah. Fed is crazy, bro. I want to make her proud, too, you know? I want her to have, like, like the best future ever, you know? Like, yeah. all the things I didn't have, like, I want her to to have, you know? She looks like she's going to be traviesa, though. Yeah, I think... I know she's going to be doing what I'm doing. She could, and possibly better. Yeah, I know she's, she's gonna she, do a she lot. She is. She is gonna be doing what I'm doing. Like I know it. When she's 15, dude, you know. that'd be crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for this podcast, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening from whatever platform you guys are on. Wilito, what are your socials? All that good stuff. Everything is Wilito. Wilito, go subscribe to my YouTube right now. Right now. <laughs> Wilito. Make Thank sure you, you guys, so much, Jenica, for having me. Of course. Everybody was waiting. You guys were harassing me to get Wilito on here. And we finally made it happen. I had to get respect his time and his space and, you know, his break that he was having. And whenever he was ready to come on, the door was wide open. So thank you for taking the time of and course, being of course. here. What, what, when do you plan to get married? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm just asking, you know. When? I'm 25. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know. Whenever God wants me to get married. Okay, okay. That's it. It's fire. Why? Are you going to be mad? Or like, do you have to accept the person? No, you know, I just feel like everybody, I don't know, like me, I honestly, I, I would get married like young, 23, and I want my kids to... I want, so you're I saying I'm late? <laughs> nah, I, nah, like 20, I, like I would get married like at 28. 29 but oh, you know man. before that i would love to be with the person for a couple of years you know to get them to you know right as you should 
You're not going to marry them in two All right, months. that was a weird question. You're stupid. My anyway, bad, my bad. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next Tuesday what? on the Overcomfort Podcast. Overcomfort Podcast is a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network.